Hello everybody! Eric here with Jules and we uh, drain the swamp. Donald Trump style. Uh, but uh, we have no idea what to expect in there. I didn't. I, we only saw a few, a few, few ghosts. And that's about it. Uh, the one thing I thought we would do is try to think about uh, th ways to clean up some stuff uh, that we maybe haven't thought of in a while. One thing we haven't thought of is the depths. Remember, there was no gaping dragon there. It would be the closest bonfire to the depths. Well, I guess it's the sluice works. I mean, it wouldn't take very long to go and check and see if there's anything changed in there. The reason why I am doing this is because we went and saw the open chest in Lost Azaleth and it used the melted key which was the key we used to get through this door so I don't know what that means is it trying to draw a reference to this area if so let's go check it out and see if anything's happening here I mean, we could also farm for humanity and uh, use burn these uh, slugs here for more shards. But that kind of farming, I think, I can do off off uh, camera. Uh, this doesn't look like it's changed too much. Although, it seems like there's a oh, well, that's item. There's just not items, it's just torches. Torches everywhere making me think it's items. Oh, there is a summoning sign now, though. Which insinuates there may be a boss. And it's Solaire. See the next progression? Why not? I can't remember if we came down here, human or not. So they boxed us in there. Oh, well, the channeler is still there. You can help us beat the channeler anyway, I guess. That's all we need to worry about. Uh, we got Firestorm. This, what we got for buffs here. Um, gaping dragon, I guess we'll use pine resin. Or not pine resin, gold. Yeah, gold pine resin. Okay, there is some boss here now. Just continuing with cleaning up this area before we start getting crazy with the whole outer works. like a invisible gaping dragon. Maybe that's not so good. Oh, it's not invisible. Could be foreshadowing that it turns invisible eventually though. We gotta get rid of that channeler first. One of us has gotta take the channeler. There's a tail here, right? Oh, 
Bo's gonna go for the tail. Looks like he's buffed! Or something. Solaire's done already, and this boss has way more health than it should have. Jeez. Bane of Lordran. Never gonna get anything if it keeps jumping around like that. Seventy-five damage, really? Then it just steps on my toenail and that's it for me. Oh, maybe that's why. <laughs> if it kills you, then you then you go to the cloister of exiles. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh boy. Well, we're here now. We might as well do what we can, because I don't think there's any way we're getting out. Almost got poisoned. I got zero health. Really? Oh, okay. Two Estus. Jeez! Good thing we got good poison resist. Now, can I still wear the hood, I guess? Although this would be a good area to maybe wear the, uh, the dragon head. Yeah, this, this area is definitely going to wear the dragon head. I think that's more beneficial than the benefit we get from the poison resist. Uh, if I can find it. Didn't get taken away from us or something, did it? Dragon eye, dragon head, there we go. Yeah, the way this area works normally is that you just don't get out until you get all the way out the back door. Uh, so, it doesn't matter how many times you die. Sort of gotta find a, uh, see if backstabbing this guy would... No, the poison still registers, so we gotta watch it. I guess flame is why we... That's why we took the flame, is burn those guys, I guess. The only good news about this area before in the past was that there was a bonfire right here. That doesn't look like it's the case right now. Uh, so, just to make sure, I better check here. Bonfire. And you never know what they could do uh, different, so imagine I just die. I think we might get better Estus if we did that. No, we don't get any better Estus. <laughs> we do replenish our health bar, though, it looks like, so... Oh, but these guys respawn. Where's my dragon butt head here? Oh, fuck. Didn't have it on, so I'm... Instead of breathing fire, I just tried to put my head on. Okay, Cloister of Exiles. Ex Cloister of Exiles. There, I assumed it was on since I had it equipped.
unfortunately this is going to take three three huffs and puffs to blow these guys off. I guess I could use fire orbs and stuff. Try to start with the with the. Uh, we don't have the small ones. Yeah, we do. Where's the fire? Oh, we got great orbs. Fire orbs are the smallest we got. See what how it compares to the fire dragon breath. Now that our flame is quite a bit better. Well, that's a one shot. So yeah, we may want to use that sparingly. Oh boy. Thankfully we got that gold hem set because the poison, we do have the option of just killing those guys one at a time because the poison doesn't rip bar, bar, barely misses a full bar there, so. One Estus. Oh, for crying in the sink. Uh, gotta use our method, eh? Now one thing I've neglected, I noticed, guys, is I, we haven't been using our arrows. I got poison arrows in here somewhere. win that battle, are we? Uh, gotta go and run at him, I guess. Now this guy's usually a real hassle. Not so much with the fire breath, though. Bonus. He really gives off a lot of poison or something. Maybe they're all like that though. Maybe that was just the first one. Normally, but but they're all like that now. Lots of items in this area though, at least. Lots of rats, dogs. Well, we're almost done here. I guess we're gonna have to use the two humanity we got left. Sparingly too, I imagine. But I think this could be a place for a bonfire, couldn't it? Guess not. One item. Large tight night shard, mind you. I don't know if you need to methodically look around, get through the area. We just need a bonfire. Bad. And is that a way for us to get out there? I guess that's where we came from, actually. Yeah. That ledge has an item. Normally we'll have to fall on that ledge from above, though, I think. Yeah, now we want to get over there, and that way we can get that door over there open. Oh, I can do that too, whoops! Good thing I didn't use burn my humanity. Oh, 
crying out loud. They got enough poise to get through the fire, these guys. Well, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to burn one of the humanities now. Otherwise, I'm doing this all over again. Uh, is there a short way to get down there? Yeah, we could drop down there, maybe. I don't think there's any other way to do it, though. It's any shorter. Uh, I was gonna check over here, because I thought there might be a back way to go up. Higher. Maybe that's where they got the bonfire. Well, not right away, anyway. Well, they used to have these things that would fly over here. There's the bonfire. At least... Now sit! Fuck. No, I burned my humanity when I just normally just have Estus on. I guess I should have just died after sitting at the bonfire. Oh well. Maybe they're gone after you die once. Nope. Oh boy. Blood shield. Well, we got the blood shield. I'm gonna do a firestorm. Somebody's still shooting arrows at me. This guy's still here. Oh, they really like to bleed, don't they? Oh, fuck. Okay, there. Now we can sort of get our wits about us. Jeez. Now we can we can get those guys to come over here by kiting them with arrows. I can maybe even try the poison arrows. I have absolutely no uh, worries about poison arrows uh, being cheap or something. Oh, we had the poison bite ring on. That's probably why that helped us. Uh, yeah, that maybe maybe it's a good idea to have it on, even though the souls might be cool too. But. Uh, is that the poison ones? No. There. We don't have hawk ring on right now though. Oh, it's coming over. thousand souls so maybe while we're getting this going I'll get that on <laughs> uh, and I guess the poison wasn't working
Oh, they're really weak to bleed. Okay. This guy is back, and that's who's maybe shooting stuff, is he? Where he went. So I got a bunch of dogs in there. We got the shard out. We got the blood shield. What does a blood shield even do again? Uh, good for fire. Uh, looks like that's about it. might also do something else though. I can't remember what its special effect is. Um, like the cr grass crush shield buffs stamina, but the blood shield, I can't remember what it does at all. I wonder if it's health regeneration. I don't think so, but it could be. Whoops. All kinds of poison and stuff. Buff poison resistance too? Obviously not health. But maybe it helps poison resistance or something. Um. For goodness sake. Now I got a bunch of bunch of weird stuff on here now. these guys. And that dog. Oh, I don't have my head on again? Jeez. Well, I guess we gotta go down eventually. Now we run for it or do we kill? I think we run for it. that. Ugh. 
Doesn't sound very good. Oh boy. Washing pole, straight up, nice. I was wondering how we might get it. It's one of my favorite weapons in the game. I guess I can't check it now, though. This sounds like there's too many enemies around, or maybe there is, I don't know. Oh, maybe I can check it. Uh. Washing pole, yeah. Not upgraded, but it, yeah, we'll have to think about that. The very long poking weapon and the running R1 is amazing. Running R1, running R1. Not that I don't like the great scythe, but the washing pole is pinpoint accurate straight down the middle. You don't have to do that slash, right? So we'll see. No, oh, for crying out loud. Oh, they, geez, they hit really hard here, don't they? Stupid rats. Oh, meant to press the fire. Well, I see that item over there, that's for sure. Without the ability to, to kill the boxes, or the barrels, you won't get people to jump over there too easy. So we gotta do it with the arrows, I guess. So run sideways and jump sideways. Oh, boy. Losing a health every time we do this now. There we go. Four fire bombs, great. Now normally that's actually pretty good for this area because fire bombs do help you in this area, I imagine. Now, shortcut opening is what we were after here. Sunlight elixir. Enemies. Even more enemies. But if we race that way, can we get anywhere? Closer to the opening of the shortcut opening the big great doors in the front there um, that's fall damage that way too so maybe we go up first or down first I can't remember oh, frickin rats
Somebody was getting me from behind though. What the heck? That sure surprised the heck out of me. One Estus now though. Frickin' dogs, I hate them. And not pinpoint accurate with that, are we? Oh, we could have got down there by falling, but I think the fall damage would have worse off. Why do I seem to be missing the poison now? Before I couldn't. We got nowhere to go down here, that's one reason why I didn't jump down here. Okay, well, that's it for that area then. We have to go up higher before we get anywhere else. Thankfully his fire gets wrecked by the boards too. Shadow outfit, what the heck? Oh there, I'm dead. Well, we know where we're going, unfortunately, fortunately, but at the same time, that was a lot of enemies to... to not get. Now, the thing is, we want to get rid of those guys now. If we, if we ever want to get past that area over there, we're going to have to get these guys out of the way. One at a time might have been better. Oh well. I was saying. Come on, I definitely pressed dodge. You can't backstab these asses, I guess, for some reason. I see you coming. Problem with bringing these guys over. Now this guy. Is he coming or not? Guess not. There's more over there too. definitely hit the vicinity uh, but I don't think that's gonna do it. Now we're already down in Estes right so and two actually because we can't go forward with only that much health uh, oh 
fuck's sake. Can we survive? Oh, we can! We can survive a jump down here. Nice. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I don't know if it helps us too much. There's no bonfire over there. Well, maybe you can check out this area. Oh, for crying out loud! Okay, well, at least we know there's a shortcut there. <laughs> you open the shortcut. You don't have to incur fall damage to get there. Uh, we can just go back the same way we came now. Maybe I'll leave those frickin' birds this time. Crying out loud! Good mind to upgrade the washing pole immediately. As a matter of fact, <laughs> how far could we get it? But it's about as far as it goes for now. Because we gotta ascend it with Andre, and we're not getting out of here. We're not fast traveling, are we? I never really checked, did I? Oh, I guess we could. No, Sparks Light blocked by old magic. Uh, could kindle, though. Maybe that's something to do with our free humanity. So we're running out of Estes big time in this area. Okay. Wiser heads are prevailing here. Now back to here. We don't need our buff on. Uh, I guess the extra souls wouldn't hurt. Alright, so... Normally there's an invasion here. Oh boy. Three different mobs in there? Are they my friends? I doubt it. <laughs> I gather not. Fight Night Shards 4 though! <laughs> Yeah, Homeward Bone. Ouch! You don't let a guy heal, do you? I saw you coming. Ouch! How come I can't see anything? Oh boy. Okay, well that's it for that. I have to go through the white fog if I... I think it's time to try out those poison arrows. Now a good sniper spot might be... where? Over... 
over on that ledge where there's that item. Now, how do you get over there, though? I forget. We got everything open up here, don't we? How do we get over there? Uh, maybe from below, unfortunately. Yeah, from below, unfortunately. But we can go below because we can get down to the main floor. So let's see if we, we can do that. Fuck off. Knew I shouldn't have bothered with you. For fuck's sake. This is the way below? I guess we have to go up first. Oh, for goodness sakes. Locking on the wrong guys. Noob city. Can you switch to the bow? The third time I pressed it. I guess the dragon breath was in order there. <sighs> what was that? Area sure hasn't changed since the old days. I'm not that much better at souls that I can tell, say that this area is a cakewalk, that's for sure. Although we did get that sh shortcut op open pretty quickly there by dropping down. That sort of opens up the whole area. So at least I feel good about that. That guy's gonna get me every time, I bet. Fuck, what an idiot. That's locked. Let's go this way then. See what's over here. Fall down there? Looks like it. Can't really get in there, can we? Okay, I guess we can. Luring skull. Oh, jeez. Now these wheels, skeleton wheels, I don't think they're going to get... I don't think they're going to get uh, broken up by the uh, fire breath. I mean, their poise isn't going to get stopped like some of the other enemies we've had, so I'm going to try step slowly with arrows. Now, I can't remember the, the, the map in here. That's another problem. Maybe the, this is better. Or this is better. I don't know. I know if you open up the... Uh... Now, there's probably a hidden wall here, but if you open it up, they also come pouring in. Or do they? Maybe not. Usually the key's down here somewhere, right? Oh, jeez! Well, that was quick. I don't. I didn't think they turned the corners before. Maybe the developer got wise and had them turning corners. Well, it's a little bit of a run down there, but I don't know. That's one, that's one option. So we got guys to our left, guys to our right. Maybe you should really get the place opened up and go through that fog door, though. Just to see what's there, I guess. Oh, boy. Fuck off! Holy shit.
one behind me too, I'm sure. Oh, there's an item there? At least we saw this item. I didn't see that item before, so... At least that's some benefit for getting mauled to death down here. Okay, I'll start killing them until when we get down here. Jeez. Yeah, kick them to death. That'll really work. You can avoid the poison if you jump back right away. Jeez, this guy's elusive. Not anymore. I don't know. Oh, let's walk right out. Elite Knight. I'm not really big on heavy armor. secret way to get anywhere over here. Return to Firelick Shrine. <laughs> Look at that. Unbelievable. Not that it's a... Uh, not that it's a, uh, you know, uh, an area we'd like, we wouldn't like to, s to clear up, but uh, maybe coming better prepared would be a better idea. At least getting our endurance up so we can wear the full set of armor, stuff like that. Um, notwithstanding, there may be some good items down there. And uh, that could be... We do have the washing pole. We got the washing pole out of there, so that's a benefit. Uh, and we can go to Andre immediately. This crow is here now. Great of the Great Crow. Ring of Condemnation. Secret pact made with Velka, goddess of sin. Okay. Uh, I don't like the really like the sounds of that too much. Tax after sustained damage. This black diamond ring. Oh, if you're taking damage like I was taking up there in that stupid painted world, it, it decides to inflict damage back. Probably not very much. Not frown on undead. Make multiple pledges. Takes true betrayal to heart. Okay, well, whatever. Let's wear the ring and see if uh, it's worth wearing at all. Now, does this thing take us back there? Oh, doesn't even. Doesn't even. Uh, Nothing. Almost made it without incurring any fall damage. Somebody just came online with this message. Uh, let's test out this ring, take some damage from 
we, would we go back to the bonfire up there? I wonder. Maybe we would. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but let's just see. Oh! <laughs> 248. It does blow them back pretty good, though. It's interesting. I guess I shouldn't be just trying it on here. We should try it with those crows and stuff, too, maybe. <laughs> Well, now we're opening up the game a bit more. That's interesting. We've opened up, uh, but likely to get to Anne Orlando, I guess we're going to have to go see Nido, apparently. From the Quelag boss fight, Nido's opened up, right? So, I don't know. We've been everywhere. Got most of the items that have lost to Azalith. I, I, guess, I guess there could be some items there that would get us to Anne Orlando. Uh, but I'm thinking the catacombs might be the place where that happens, too, so... Things are opening up. Thanks for watching. Whoops. There, thanks for watching. <laughs>